Your vote for this resolution will send a message to him and our fellow citizens in Duluth. You have the power to do something that veterans like me and like Aaron could walk up to you years from now and shake your hand. We invite you to join us as our representatives in demanding justice for Palestinians and oppressed people everywhere. That public outcry was shared during Duluth City Council meeting last night. A packed house with dozens pleading with counselors to take up a resolution calling for President Biden to demand a ceasefire. Good evening, I'm Dan Wall. And I'm Laura Lee. Thanks for joining us. Now, these pleas for a permanent ceasefire are growing louder as a resolution will be brought to the table soon. But that's creating some division among council members. And tonight, Northern News Now's Kara Khan takes a look at what's behind this growing local movement and what comes next. At least 11 Americans are dead, other U.S. citizens missing as the fighting intensifies between Israeli forces and Hamas. October 7th marked the beginning of a now five-month-long attack on the Gaza Strip as Israel reacted to a terror attack on its own soil. Death and destruction across the ocean, shocking Duluthian Jacob Troutman here at home. Immediately I knew that something had to be done. Troutman quickly joined forces alongside Duluthians and began protesting, but he wanted to do more. I was kind of inspired after Minneapolis passed their city council resolution um, calling for a ceasefire. It was then he began his efforts to have Duluth City Council do the same. We have to make sure that they truly understand that this is not just a, a fad issue or anything like that. It's important and it's necessary. Thus started Troutman's and dozens of other Duluthians to spend their Monday nights here in Duluth Council Chambers. It eventually caught the attention of Councilor Azreen Owl, who has a personal connection to the conflicts in Gaza as the first Muslim woman to sit in one of these chairs. It was important for me um, to listen to my constituents who have been calling and emailing us nonstop requesting a ceasefire. Owl has been in the process of drafting a resolution to bring to the council for the last couple of weeks. This resolution is symbolic in the sense that, um, you know, the city of Duluth does not control foreign policy or have an impact that. But what it will do is allow us to join the 70 plus cities across the nation who have called for a permanent ceasefire that gets bundled together to give a strong message to our state representatives. Powell says she wants the city to take part in putting pressure on the Biden administration to call for a ceasefire in Gaza. More specifically, she wants to see our federal tax dollars help us here at home rather than supporting military efforts in Israel. What happens at the local level is extremely important and is influential to state policies. And what happens at state levels is extremely important to federal. The resolution hasn't been finalized yet, but it has gotten support from counselors Mike Mayo and Wendy Durwachter. However, a few seats down from Owl sits a counselor who's calling the resolution a slippery slope. There are options that counselors can take, but I've always been consistent with my view that those formal resolutions are not the best path. Councilor Eric Forsman, along with Lynn Marine nephew and Tara Swanson, say the city council is not a place to discuss foreign policy. And if they take the time to discuss it, Forsman wonders where the priorities of future council votes will look like, local or national. And also, how does the public take that the next time they hit a pothole? And the council just took a vote on an international matter, but you haven't fixed my street. And that's a hard message because I don't have a good answer for why we would prioritize that when there are other tools available that counselors can use to get their voices out as elected officials. Forsman shared counselors typically go to social media, hold press events, or write letters to state lawmakers when they feel strongly on a national issue. He says he doesn't understand why this time is different. It doesn't mean that I don't agree that a ceasefire would be a tremendous outcome. Um, but I also was not elected to Congress. It's really a no-win for counselors. Until a ceasefire resolution reaches the council's desk, those like Troutman don't plan to give up on their goal. And I'm hoping to kind of change some of their minds over the next couple of weeks because I think it's really important to pass this. In Duluth, Car Cop, Northern News Now. Councillor Owl says her finalized resolution is going to be presented March 21st during the agenda session. It'll then be put up for vote that following Monday.